Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Hunter Tuned. Today, I'm out on the lake. So I got my uh, ice shack out on the ice. Uh, the ice is now uh, probably like 10 inches thick or so. Not quite good enough for a vehicle, but uh, we can come out here with a uh, snowmobile or four-wheeler and I pulled my ice shack and this is kind of my uh, little home away from home in the winter. I just bought this thing uh, in the uh, fall from a guy <clears throat> and uh, yeah just a little hut go fishing or uh, it's gonna be kind of a, a home base for coming out here and going ripping. Uh, if we bring the cars out here with studded tires this is going to be the uh, little warm-up shelter or whatever so I want to get the Grom <coughs> the Groms out here and uh, make a track I want to make a track out here soon but uh, I got to get a plow on a four-wheeler or something because like I said it's not quite thick enough for a vehicle and with all the snow that's out here the studs and stuff don't work if there's you know a foot of snow on the lake so we got to plow away some of the snow so we can get down to bare ice like this and then the studs do their job. So I got a little Harbor Freight generator out here. And uh, my shack is all wired up for electricity. I got a couple outlets in there, a couple lights. I'll show you in a second. But then we got propane, <coughs> propane tank for a little heater that's in there. And let me just say, it's it gets cozy. It's uh. <coughs> Only a few degrees outside right now. So in the shack, it's very nice and warm. Um, I used the propane. Hang on, there's some lights. Look at that. We lit up like a Christmas tree in here now. So uh, this shack, it's it's insulated. It's got a window here. Are you kidding that? No. Trying to insulate. I have a uh, electric space heater that runs off the generator. Once the shack gets warm with the propane heater, the electric infrared heat is a lot cleaner. Uh, it doesn't suck all the oxygen out of the, out of the shack because it's so airtight in here, very well insulated. If you run that uh, Mr. Heater with the propane and the, the flame that comes off that heater, it'll actually suck a lot of the oxygen out of the shack and then, you know, I'm gonna be out here and <laughs> So I like using the uh, infrared heat and it's, uh, you know, we can just power it off the generator. And that little thing, once the, once the shack is warmed up, that little thing actually does the trick. Uh, we also got a TV out here, I've been watching some Whistling Diesel and some other YouTube channels uh, off of this little uh, adapter thing. So that's pretty neat. Got a, uh, a vent right there for a chimney that I actually have a little fan that blows fresh air in here. I hook up once in a while or we uh, open the window whatever got some wax worms and I'm in the process of trying to drill a hole but uh, this auger kind of sucks so I might have to borrow my buddy's auger to get a hole drilled <clears throat> and Christine's just out here reading a book oh. Roxy loves it out on the lake too she says oh I can go running around go get it Good girl. Good girl. She doesn't want to sit, it's too cold. <laughs> Go get it! Good girl. So yeah, I'm going to, uh, <clears throat> in the next couple days, I'm gonna to try to get a four-wheeler or something with a plow out here so we can make a racetrack and uh, come out here and just go ripping around and have some fun. But I want to do it sooner than later because I shoveled off some snow here, but the snow will start to get really hard and then the plow isn't going to dig all the way down to the ice, which sucks. So I gotta try to do it sooner than later before it gets any colder. All right guys, uh, it's another day and uh, it's been below zero out here for a couple days now and uh, we've definitely made some more ice 
Uh, you can see there's actually some trucks parked up on the shore down there. I don't know if you can see them on camera or not, but uh, I did, uh, my buddy actually let me borrow his four-wheeler and I've been out here for the last, I came out here yesterday for a little while and I've been out here today uh, with the four-wheeler and the snow plow. And uh, I got a road plowed out here uh, to get to my shack. And then I got uh, this road right here that is going to an oval track. So this is gonna be like a circle track right here. I gotta get the road cleaned up right here yet uh, to get onto the track. And then I have an exit uh, road and an enter road. Uh, so that's gonna be, I gotta clean that up. And then I think I'm gonna do, I have this oval track right here. And then I think I'm gonna do a, a bigger oval around this oval so like if you want to go on, on the big oval you can do that or you can go on the small oval right here so uh, i'm gonna do that and then maybe a little bit closer or to the left of this racetrack i'm either going to do i'm gonna do a drag strip somewhere uh out here and then i'm also gonna do like a little road course uh so that's uh what i'm doing uh there must be catching some fish out here i haven't been fishing yet but uh yeah Hopefully we don't piss these guys off this year when we're out here ripping around. I'm also trying to clean up around my shack. I got it packed in with snow, but uh, trying to just clean up around here so it's not so snowy. Because there's not a whole ton of snow out here right now. Um, and it, when it snows again, we have something to be able to clean up because... Uh, when it does start to snow big, we have, you know, like I said, we have a, a thing we can already plow. Alrighty guys, back out on the lake today again. And uh, I got the Grom out here with the studded tires on it. I didn't really show uh, building the tires or anything, but uh, just got some cheap original gold uh, studded, uh, or studs. I did uh, 716 screws in the front and I did five eighths in the rear. Uh, and I clocked them. and. This thing sticks hard out here. It's like concrete. Uh, but there is still some snow on the track, which kind of sucks because when the, the studs don't work on snow, they work on ice. So uh, you can see out here, there is uh, some snow covering on the track. And I tried to plow it the best I could, but I'm gonna try to, uh, it's, the only thing that sucks is like in the corner. So like this is the straightaway right here. And then here's one of the corners. Like in the corners here, you can see there's like a lot of snow. So like if you're coming in hot, uh, you know, leaning down, the front end likes to push through the snow and then it grabs again. So it's kind of sketchy. Uh, you gotta try to keep the, uh, you gotta keep the tires on the ice. If you hit snow, especially when you're leaning and you're ripping really hard, uh, it tends to want to push out from you, push out from under you. So I'm trying to uh, think of a way that maybe I can get out here with a torch and I can burn the snow off of the track because the plow just can't scrape down enough because the ice isn't that even. If the ice was perfectly flat, which it's not, it never is, uh, it would be a lot easier to scrape it flat. But uh, I think if I got like a, made like a homemade Zamboni, like they do for ice hockey, I could maybe just do that. But I don't know, it might be a lot of work to do that. Otherwise, I could bring a torch out here and just walk the track with the torch. Uh, that might help. But I'm gonna go for a rip. Maybe mount the camera, I don't even know where, but mount the camera somewhere. Hopefully you guys can see me go for some rips.
change something up. It's not happy. bike is not really happy it has this like stutter at like 6,000 rpm <clears throat> it almost sounds like two-step and uh, we couldn't get it fixed on the dyno <clears throat> and uh, I don't know what it is it's ever since I changed to uh, the only difference really is got rid of the grandfather's rev wedge and yeah it just is pissed so I'm gonna have to look into that and see why it's being stupid. All right guys, so back at home now. Uh, we took the Grom out today on the ice and I got, like I said, I got that oval track plowed and I got like the start of a drag strip plowed. It just takes a long time doing it with a four wheeler because you know, your cut is only, you know, 36 inches wide or whatever the width of the plow is. So it definitely takes a lot longer doing it that way. And I had issues with the four wheeler and it's just like, it's been, it's been taking a lot of time to get the ice to the point where it is right now. <clears throat> um, and I wanted, I got impatient and I just wanted to go ride and have some fun to get a fire lit under my ass to get out and do more on the ice. And now I have other stuff that I want to do with the blue bike because this thing, it, it has like this stutter at 6,000 RPM and I don't know what the hell it is. I built this four valve motor. You guys know if you guys have been watching the bike content. Uh, I put this motor together and I got the intake manifold and the head ported by Mike O'Connell. And I changed to the COSO intake manifold on here because it's a... It looks like stock it's just a larger pretty much a larger stock intake manifold and the injector shoots right into the head versus the rev wedge that i had shot the injector like sideways at the side of the intake manifold instead of shooting it into the head and i think maybe that's part of the reason why this bike is having issues now i had stuttering issues with the rev wedge but not this bad i also have ran a decapped grom injector on both of those bikes I don't know if the spray pattern of the injector is causing this issue on this thing or what it is. I just redid the valve lash and I had one intake valve that was really tight. Um, you know, after it's seated into the head, it's a brand new head. So I uh, did that. Uh, the tires and everything are working awesome. Got it parked on this rug right here, carpet. Uh, I have a carpet that runs my trailer because I don't run the studs at all on concrete because they will wear out and then they won't grip at all. As soon as you wear out the studs, they're garbage. <clears throat> uh, so I want to keep these tires in good shape. Um, another thing that with the Hindle exhaust on this bike, it doesn't fit worth a shit. I don't know why. Um, it just doesn't fit worth a shit. Like it's barely hanging on. And you can see it's maxed out here. You can't really see it, but it's maxed out on the rear set to get to bolt on, and it's barely slipped on to the pipe here. I don't know what the deal is with that, but uh, couldn't get that to fit right. And, uh, yeah, so I did the valve lash. I might try to play around with some other stuff to get this thing to run better. But it sucks because it's, uh, it's it, yeah. Another thing being out on the lake is I want to get the track down to glare ice as best as I can because especially in the corners on this bike, uh, I can't lean it over at all without it sliding out because of this, all the snow on the, uh, on the ice. So I don't know, maybe a torch or make like some homemade fucking Zamboni deal with like a 55 gallon drum 
of warm water. I just don't know. It's going to be a bitch to like warm the water and then bring it out and then warm the water and bring it out. It's going to be kind of a pain in the ass unless we have like a fire on the ice with a steel drum because a plastic one would melt. And then mount it on the back of the four-wheeler with some contraption with like PVC pipe or some something. I don't know. Um, I have to get back out to the shop and do some stuff with the Integra. I got some new suspension and I don't know, just doing some other stuff. But I'm going to be maybe doing some more ice content. Uh, it just sucks. I, I wanted to try to get a couple like different camera angles to see like what's going to look good. And it sucks doing this by yourself. Like I wish I had somebody out there with me. Uh, I just didn't because Christine uh, has COVID now and I just got over COVID and it's, uh, you know, it sucks. I wish I had a drone. Somebody was good with like a drone they could film. I think it'd be a lot cooler and these type of videos would get a lot more views if I had better uh, filming. It just sucks trying to do it by yourself and then try to set the camera up and then go ride. Um, I, I want to get my GoPro set up too on my helmet. I think that'd be cool. Uh, with like a with like a, a microphone and stuff. I'm gonna try to do that stuff uh, soon, maybe for like the next video we go out riding. And I wanna get a set of tires built for the green bike, but that's, I gotta do a lot of tuning on it yet. I, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Anyways, have a great night and a better tomorrow. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, video, kind of random uh, ice content, but uh, we'll be out out and racing soon hopefully maybe we'll visit some other places on the lake where other guys have tracks plowed and we can go race around with some other bikes or cars or whatever uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in the winter here so i'm hoping to bring some cool content to you guys that maybe isn't seen a whole lot so thanks for watching have a great night and better tomorrow see ya